আপনারা দেখছেন টকিং পয়েন্ট সৌজন্যে মাহবুব এন্ড কো অ্যাকাউন্টেন্টস Welcome back. Before we went on our commercial break, we were talking to our distinguished guest today, Wasfia Nazreen, the well-known mountain climber and the lady who has put the world, the put Bangladesh on the world map, the very highest position, the peaks of the world. Uh, Wasfia, uh, oh, how did this all come along? You, see, you, you, you said that on the 40th anniversary of uh, Bangladesh, you decided to establish something and then uh, it has been in your mind to work for the upliftment of women of Bangladesh. They have been denied the rights to live their normal life and they are as equal as men and as equal as the boys. And in this process, uh, you reach the summit to celebrate the four decades of women's progress in Bangladesh, you see. Mm. So Bangladesh, in Bangladesh, there is women's progress, definitely, but probably yeah. not as much as we would like to be. We mm. have prime minister, we have um, ministers in the cabinet, we have a speaker, <laughs> we mm. have the opposition leader. <laughs> when I'm talking about women's empowerment, I'm not talking uh, about those yeah. people and we have, <laughs> in and, power. And, and we have, we have a very distingu distinguished uh. guest today. <laughs> no, 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 but I'm talking about very at the grassroots okay. level. You go to All any right. village and uh, you see women in the forefront, you yes. know, and very fighting with very, you know, very resilient me, people. Yeah, yes. And um, like, so that inspires me, you know, and you go with the young girls, they're just not, if they're given the equal opportunity, then they can dream. Right. Uh, but as you said, for example, I can share uh, a short story. When I summited Mount Vincent, which is the highest of Antarctica, mm -hmm. it was um, historically, I would think that it's huge because a girl, I mean, a woman from Bangladesh mm -hmm. going there, summiting, mm -hmm. first of all, going to Antarctica is a yes. huge expedition. Yeah. Yes. And then, but I, I just, I just was so sad on the summit because the same week that it happened, um, the I don't know if you remember, it's a, it was around January uh, 2013, um, first week, and there was a case of a young girl being raped and brutally, mm -hmm. um, you know, tortured, which was, so on a lot of the newspapers, the headlines, it was the summit news, yeah. and then side by side it was that. And yeah. so that just goes to show that uh, there's so much more work to do you know, do and there's the division of where it is. So um, where was that rape in Bangladesh or in I America? don't particularly remember. We have a really bad, but that it was, was probably uh, in Delhi. No, 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 in Bangladesh. Uh -huh. um, mm -hmm. And it was the thing is there are rapes happening all the time. Yep, and yep. Uh, but media gave importance to that and this story. And because it's such a taboo to talk about it. Right. Um, but I just want to go back. Um, before I even started this, I was w already working w with uh, to stop violence against women. I was right, in a right. working for CARE in mm. Bangladesh, uh, CARE International, and then uh, you know through because uh, and then later on, um, BRAC came in board as a, came on board as a sponsor for Mount Vincent in Antarctica. Right, right. So in exchange of that, I worked for them for a year, right. um, and I'm still their goodwill ambassador and working. Um, so you know, and I'm not I. When, because when I, when you talk about sponsorship, for example, I didn't want to just do do it, f take you know, commercial sponsorship and do nothing in ex right, you know, like right. just be on a billboard and drink right. some <laughs> drink that you know, and that's mm. it. I wanted it to go back to society somehow. So right. with BRAC, like right now, what I'm doing, BRAC already has 9,000 adolescent girls center all over Bangladesh, and right. um, so I go and work with them. Um, right. So it's two things that, that are happening uh -huh. at the same time. Right, good. Uh, tell us something about uh, your journey to Mount Everest. I mean, I, we have always been looking at it. Sometimes you say, I, I, I spent some time in, in North uh, Bangladesh and uh, on some very uh, clear days, we could see Kanchanjanga probably mm. from there. Mm. So you see, Extreme mm. North, Tetulia and the Nashpur, see. Panchagar. Uh, yes, yeah. Panchagar, yes, and, and Thakurgaon. Mm. And uh, tell us something about uh, how was uh, this journey, uh, how treacherous, how uh, mm. easy, how difficult. Mm. <laughs> well, the thing is, uh, Everest was definitely the most, I mean, because it just it was hardest because of the sheer length of the expedition mm -hmm. and uh, the fact that I was alone. Uh, how long does it take so from the base camp to? 
uh, well, the thing is, it's not calculated from base camp. You have mm. to, because I climbed from the Nepal side, and Nepal side, you have to trek to base camp. So that's, right. so, but to mark Bangladesh's uh, Independence Day, mm -hmm. I started the journey on 26 March as sort of like a symbol, because I had a huge uh, media thing done in Nepal, and Nepal right. government's uh, Nepal Tourism Board was one of the support organization. Oh, so I, go, I took uh, some of the freedom fighters from Bangladesh mm -hmm. uh, who spoke on that occasion, and uh, you know, so it wasn't just a climb that I was leaving for, it was all this support of people who fought for a country coming, and mm -hmm. in those press conferences they spoke, and um, and uh, then they gave me the flag and I took the Nepal flag from and then mm -hmm, took mm -hmm. we, bo mm -hmm. we took both the flags and then I went with two Sherpas. And mm -hmm. um, it was particularly very tough because it was a single woman team right. and uh, just surviving out there, not um, forget about the physical, but just mentally, you know, dealing with it. Uh, um, it's horrendous. And so next time I'll go, I'll go with, uh, and also the spotlight, you know, like because because I knew that if I fail, I would fail my all, th all mm. those people uh, who were supporting me at home. Um, but I I just want to share a short uh, thing that made up everything. That mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. after three months of uh, two months of climbing up, three right. months was the whole journey, Dhaka to Dhaka. Mm -hmm. uh, 26 March I started. 26 May I reached the summit, and mm -hmm. at, I had a very lucky early summit uh, and half an hour before I was actually approaching the light the sun started coming up and um, right. on the on the right side uh, right. I was crossing a ridge was Tibet and mm. on the left was Nepal and all the big 8,000 meter peaks that are around Everest they they were all below me and mm -hmm. just to witness the sun you know God's creation mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. sun coming up from sort of the curvature of the mm. earth that's below you, in, you mm -hmm. know, and I was just so emotional like that mm. itself. So by the time I reached the summit, the mm -hmm. sun was at the eye level, mm -hmm. and that's something like to just to be able to say. Was uh, the light blinding? Oh, well, no, here we're wearing mm. goggles yes. and everything, mm -hmm. but uh, yeah, but the light is very blinding because you can, if you open it for a second, it's harmful. Yes. Uh, but what just sort of temperatures to, uh, are there at that? So place? I had a minus 35, um, but it's just not the temperature, it's also wind chill factor that mm -hmm. works. True. Um, but uh, what I was going to say that that experience is watching this phenomenon, you know, happening and them and it makes you feel very tiny and you just yeah. look at Earth and just see that, you know, we're just we're here for such a short time True. on this planet. And as soon as we go back to civilization, we're all get involved in this chaotic fighting and rivalry and all this negative Making things. breakfast and washing dishes. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 just <laughs> the negative, you know, <laughs> fights. And I, I felt sad. I felt grateful, but I also felt that how urgent it is to make use of every single day that we are on this planet we need to work because we might be I might be going home now and I could be dead right now you know true, we don't know where true, when we're gonna true. leave so uh, it was it was a very humbling why, why, why experience. Do you, while you were going up or while you you trek up uh, the mountains uh, do you take pictures uh, or yeah, yeah or there's a built-in camera in somewhere say? no I mean I am a, I like photography so I ca carry my own cameras and gadgets mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. I also have a um, GoPro which is mm -hmm. goes with your helmet and everything mm -hmm. um, on some of the mountains there were some other people who wanted to get footage mm -hmm. because of we're talking about a future film but right. uh, that's different that's but a different uh, thing, yes. yeah and and these uh, what sort of support do you get from these Sherpas I mean, there must be so many Nepali flags there because they're always there the Sherpas are always there no, well, the flags don't actually, they're not allowed to be, uh, the, you cannot just leave them there. You have right. to take it. But on top, there's two Buddha statues, and right. uh, one was taken earlier by the Sherpas, and this is an, there's a new one, but they're all covered with uh, lots of prayer flags. I don't right. know if you've Even seen that. Even with Sir Edmund Hillary, hmm. sh there was Sherpa Tenzing. Hmm. Mm -hmm. So the Sherpas <laughs> there. I mean, that's the, they're uh, the local inhabitants of the Himalayas, yes, yes, so yes. yeah, they have a very hard In life. And uh, they're the most unsung um, heroes, really. True. And true, true. they, because uh, I've also because Sherpas are originally Tibetan, uh, mm -hmm. um, and so I've I've been working in that community mm -hmm. as well uh, for a while. And uh, I have a lot of family, like I call, they call them family, and it's mm -hmm. just I'm all they teach. They have a lot to teach to the like the world has a lot to learn from them. I think. Is, uh, the, is it a tribe these Sherpas? Um, well, they're th you know in Nepal there are different groups of people, and mm -hmm. uh, Sherpas are, um, but the they're the worst. They're the most neglected ones because in Nepal mm -hmm. they're so far away in the mountain areas. Right. Their literacy level and education only got improved after 
Tenzing um, Hillary's summit and Hillary at Sir Edmund Hillary established the school and the hospital there mm -hmm. uh, with international support. Um, mm -hmm. So before that, the government of Nepal, you know, because they're so hard to reach. Um, so, yeah, and they're, 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 they always have a smile and, yeah. you know, they're happy yes, yes. and they're working. They like, love working hard, you know, and I think that really their de definition of living well, life is... When they go with you, what do they do? I mean, do they carry things? Uh? Well, a different expedition is different. I mean, you can, because Everest has become so commercialized and you can have, you will see in one expedition, one person is supported by three Sherpas, you know, pulling them and this is just ridiculous. You know, mm -hmm. you can't climb, you don't climb. You know, <laughs> there's no point, uh, because in high altitude, right. um, it's this... Unfortunately, that's the situation in Everest. But you'll also see people who use Sherpas uh, mm -hmm. as just a climbing partner mm -hmm. rather than mm -hmm. a guide. Right. And then you'll have uh, Sherpas who carry weight up. Mm -hmm. So it de mm -hmm. depends how your particular team is using the Sherpas. Yep. Um, I had two Sherpas, uh, one going up, one down. With the, and they have this thing called the Shirdar, the, which is, who's the head Sherpa. Yeah, the so Shirdar, yes. Shirdar the Hindi, in, yes. yeah. So, and every or usually there are Sherpa Shirdars in each team and Nima Gurman Sherpa who was my Sherpa Shirdar unfortunately passed away um, last year uh, in an accident. Um, he, he, was, he was the guide but because it was just my team I made the decisions mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. if I'm going to summit or mm -hmm. if I'm today I want to go to there or mm -hmm. but it was a co-creation between me and Nima and then there was another uh, or Sherpa Kusang, mm -hmm. who um, who's like my younger brother now, and um, so and both of them they've already summited. Nima had uh, I think nine time that was his summit, and they're both younger than me. Uh, and Kusang was his third summit. It's a baby, 21. <laughs> <laughs> but they're so they strong, strong and, yes. and they carry the, a lot of the weight up mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. and the oxygen cylinders Physically and then and you know both. and Everest you have to go climb in several steps um, technically I've climbed up to camp three three times mm -hmm. um, because you have to your body has to acclimatize to the shortage of oxygen so you mm -hmm. climb high you s come down and you sleep low that's the do you carry oxygen with you or you survive on whatever is available well there? up to camp three which is 7350 meters uh, you don't use oxygen. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you are caught using oxygen below that, I'm sorry, that's a little cheating in mm -hmm. my mm -hmm. philosophy because, um, but I, there are people who use from 6,000 meters. Uh, the thing in with oxygen is um, once you start oxygen, you have to remain on the mountain for the rest of the time on oxygen because the, your body now has demands. Uh, yeah, so otherwise you, you might just have a heart attack or, you know, um, so. I kept the oxygen for just the last summit push from Camp 3 onwards. <coughs> um, so Camp 3 onwards, I started oxygen and then till I came back down to Camp 3 again. But then okay, the quantity oxygen changes. Oxygen is necessary for human beings and uh, commercial breaks are necessary for us, <laughs> television uh, channels. So we take a break here and don't go away. When we come back, we still have a lot to discuss with our guest today, Waspia and Azeen. See you sometime. আপনারা দেখছেন টকিং পয়েন্ট শোজন্যে মাহবুবেন কো অ্যাকাউন্টেন্টস